Hello and welcome to Indus News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnakar. Two key makers left middle-aged man poorer by Rs. 90,000 by stealing jewellery from his Alameda on Christmas Day. Interestingly, the complainant Sunil Komchan Baravar, a resident of Bhavaravnagar under Lakadaganj police stand, called in the accused due to make a duplicate key of the gate. And this complaint, Sunil informed Lakadaganj caused that there was some issue with his front gate, following which he had called two key makers in this regard. The accused arrived at around 3 p.m. on Mirza's day. They first tried their keys on the gate but failed to open the lock. Later, they requested Sunil to check their master key on one of his Almira. During the same, one accused stole gold ornaments worth Rs. 90,000, alleged Sunil in his complaint. The duo promised to return within a couple of hours with key but never returned. In yet another trail of accident owing to unruly trucks ferrying illegal sand, four employees of Mihan based Hexaware company were killed while one sustained severe injuries in the mishap that occurs in the wee hours of Friday under Soniga police station. Balchandra UK, Piyush Tekare, Neha Gajbiye, Payal Kochi were reportedly killed in the incident while Ashish Sarnarayan sustained severe injuries and rushed to GMCH, said police. Then with their night shift, all the Xavier employees were on their way home. When their vehicle was crossing Mihan Bridge, a recklessly driven truck ferrying illegal sand reportedly rammed their vehicle head on. The impact was so severe that Balchan, Piyush Neha and Payal died on the spot, while Ashish suffered grievous injuries. So police have registered the case under relevant sections of Indian Penal Code. On Friday, on the occasion of Christmas, Maharashtra Minister of Energy and Guardian Minister of Nagpur District, Dr. Nathan Raut, paid a courtesy visit to SFS Church and called an Archbishop Gonsalves and Bishop Sharad Gaipar at the Bishop's House Cathedral and wished them a Merry Christmas. Dr. Nathan Raut was felicitated by Archbishop Gonsalves at SFS Church and the Guardian Minister in turn extended greetings to all Christian brethren and wished them a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. He was accompanied by Nagpur Municipal Corporation Opposition Leader Tana Jivanwe, Philip Jaiswal, John Joseph, Nelson Francis, Sunil Jonathan and Krishna Kumar Pandey. The Christian community leaders opined that this Christmas is going to be a special one for all of us as we battle and come out victorious against this pandemic. COVID-19 norms are being followed at all these events. The corona-positive cases and casualties continue to rise unabated in the second capital. In the last 24 hours, six deaths and 320 positive cases were reported in Nagpur district. What is the total number of positive cases and casualties in the district has reached to 1,21,666 and 3,884 respectively. While giving the breakup of the deaths due to the coronavirus pandemic, medical officials have revealed that out of the total casualties, 679 and 2,620 deaths are from the rural and urban areas of the district respectively, while 585 persons are from outside the district. They further said that out of the total 320 positive cases, 11 positive cases came to light from AIMS 42 from GMC, 106 from IGGMC, 10 from Mapsur, 9 from Niri, 31 from Nagpur University, 88 from private laboratories and 23 from antigen testing laboratories. One 32-year-old female from Chindwara came to our city hospital research institute with a history of persistent headache for one year and increases in headache with nausea and decrease in vision since five days. She had received treatment from many hospitals but no relief. She was admitted under care of Dr. Shailendra Anjankar, OCHRI neurosurgeon. She was investigated and diagnosed as a right parasagital high-grade tumor of size 4.7 by 7.5 by 4.5 cm, compressing left lateral vertical with middle line shift of 9 mm towards left. The primary treatment for high-grade tumor is surgery, which aims at maximal safe resection of tumor and depending on grade and type of tumor, Further management of chemo and radiotherapy is decided. In spite of being a high-risk operation, her relatives having complete faith on the OCHRI treating and medical team and concentrate for his intricate surgical intervention. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnakar says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself and family. Keep watching NBC News. Sajdikhai, Bina Chupai.